Hey everybody, we're going to be looking at flex pitch a little bit today. We're going to look at specifically when you can adjust the formants inside your flex pitch. So in order to really understand what we're doing, let's just go to Google for one second. I just typed in formant and spectrogram so you could see this. So we have our fundamental part of the voice and the bottom part. And then we have these other frequency bands which represent the formants of a voice. And when we have these, what those really mean or what those represent are, for instance, like the shape of the throat, the cavity of your mouth, the nasal cavity, all of the different parts of the actual anatomy which contribute to the sound of a voice. And so when you pitch shift something, take a voice and you pull it out, it's actually moving the fundamental frequency as well as all of those formants. It shifts them all up by that same amount. That's when you end up sometimes with an unnatural sounding pitch change if you're doing it by a lot. So in this case, let's sold that out for a second. Cocoons are their own tombs. So it changes it quite a bit as you do that. Now, one of the things we have in here is a formant shift option. We can drag the formant separately from the fundamental pitch. This is super useful when we want to create a natural change. So say I want to go up with this one, but I want to make it sound a little bit more natural. I can pull the formants back down to their original position. Like coons are. Now, anytime we're doing more than like a note or two, you're going to have it sound a little different. But this does in some ways try to mimic that. That's not what I'm most interested in about the formant shifting. What I like it for is leaving the original pitch the same. And let's actually make these a little bit more laser like. And then leaving them how they are and changing the formants. This actually will help us. So say I want to go up just like a couple notes on both of these it's going to change the overall spectrum of the sound. Like coons are their own tombs. By itself, I wouldn't do that very much, like on a lead, but when it's a harmony part, sometimes you can get it to help fit in the mix a little bit more or to cut through more. Let it burn. Like coons are let it burn. We can also make it a little bit less bright by pulling it down. And we'll go four, well, three for that one so it stays in the key. So you have a lot of control over the overall timbre of the voice by changing the formants while leaving the pitch exactly the same. So really subtle. We can do this where we're just swapping them a little bit. Last one, I don't like it up two. Let's just go up one. But you can really sculpt the overall timbre and the sound of the voice using some of this formant shifting while leaving the fundamental frequency the same. Anyway, I just wanted to really point this out and demonstrate this topic because I think it's a really interesting way to work with our vocals, change them, make them sound different, or even minimize some of the extreme pitch we have to do by changing the formants back down to where they were before. Okay, that's it for today. Hope you're having a great week and we'll do another video soon.